ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. On today's episode, I'm trying a cider that's actually been sitting in my fridge for a little while, so I thought it was about time I actually got round to reviewing it. And it's my first foray into the Dunkerton Cider Company to try out their premium organic cider. Now, the thing uh, to note about the uh, Dunkerton's company is that they actually do specialise in all organic ciders. Um, I think most of the ones that they do are organic. I could be wrong there. Uh, but they have a nice old selection. But apparently this is their premium uh, variety. So we'll see how it tastes soon. But until then, let's go and get some details on Dunkerton's premium organic cider, why don't we? Dunkerton's Premium Organic Cider comes in 500ml bottles, which I do believe is the only way you can get it to. Now, the alcohol percent is 6.8% in volume, so uh, we've got a slightly higher percentage one here. Um, doesn't say anywhere on the bottle if it's going to be sweet or dry, so I'll find out when I try it. And the price is pretty cheap, actually, for a certain cider like this. It comes in at about £2.39 off of um, Beers of Europe, anyway. Um, um, you can't actually buy off the Dunkerton's website, so just do your shopping about and see if you can get it for cheaper. Well, um, I'm not going to say too much about the bottle because, to be honest, it doesn't really catch my eye anyway. Uh, I, I find that with most organic products anyway, they're not as eye-catching because I guess they let the taste do the talking, I guess. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty bland front, but it kind of says everything it needs to say. Premium organic cider, uh, pressed, fermented, and bottled by Dunkertons in Pembridge, Herodshire. <laughs> it's uh, Organic Soil Association, whatever that is. But let's check the back. A medium sweet sparkling cider. Ah, you see, I uh, missed that, so uh, ignore my description that I did. So apparently it's going to be medium sweet. It's actually been quite a while since I've had a sweet cider. Well, not artificially sweet but a proper sweet cider so this will be good Dunkerton cider is made from organic apples grown in Herefordshire orchards free from harmful chemicals obviously because that's what um, organic products do wildlife can flourish in this environmentally sustainable system should I say the apples will be a blend of cider varieties some ancient like sheep's nose brown snout and fox whelp, and some modern like improved Kingston black and balls bittersweet Okay, well, half of those apples I've not actually heard of before, but I know for a fact that the fox wolf is quite a um, a sharp tasting, uh, sharp tasting apple. But as you know, the uh, Kingston Black is quite a, a slightly bitter sweet sort of apple, so they might complement each other well. Anyway, we at Dunkerton's enjoy making our ciders and feel sure you will enjoy drinking them chilled naturally. And it says organic is the future. It very well might be. You never know with this climate. So. That's the bottle all sorted with, so let's go and get it open. If I can actually get the blooming bottle top on. Okay, there we go. That's quite a uh, quite a tough one to get off. Nice old plank of wow, I can smell it already. As you can see, it's uh, got a kind of a longer nose, so I might get better aromas. Let's have a look. Oh wow, very re wow, really robust dry hits. Oh wow, very tannic. Um Oh, that smells quite like a vintage cider. It's not got quite the strength for a vintage cider, but it's 6.8%, so it's still up there. Oh, yeah, big old hefty, hefty dry notes. It's got a nice crisp scent as well. You know, it doesn't, um, there's no, what's the word, like stodginess to it. There's no, like, uh, you know, anything putting you off. That smells very pleasant. So, I've got my old Chapel Beer Festival glass here, and let's go and pour this organic cider in. Now well then, I've actually heard kind of good things about the Dunkerton's um, company, so we shall see what this cider is like. As I say, it's been sitting in my fridge for a little while, so it's about time it got reviewed. There we go, I don't think there's any sediment. Nope, none at all. So... Let's have an old look at Dunkerton's Premium Organic, shall we? Um, it's actually got a sort of a slight chill haze to it. I don't know whether you can see this uh, in the camera, but it's slightly hazy. You know, can't, you know, it's quite a translucent thing. Um, hardly any carbonation, as you can see. There's um, very, very light, but um, 
I'd say it's got a nice, almost like a hay sort of colour, nice old light. That looks quite good actually. It actually reminds me sort of like a scrub pea. Obviously it's not, it's just organic cider, so let's get a whiff in the glass. Yeah, and you've still got those really nice robust dry hits. I'm getting a sort of, uh, sort of a zestiness as well, sort of a... Uh, sort of like an orange pith or a... Uh, or, or some sort of a, maybe a clementine or a tangerine, one of those um, those orange fruits, like uh, like the pith, not really like the the pulp or anything, but you know, like a, the zest that you can get. Hmm, smells rather nice. So I'm hoping it tastes just as good. I'm expecting a lot of varieties of apples in this. So cheers, guys, and here's to Dunkerton ciders. Whoa! Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Okay, the flavours are still coming. Wow! All right. Well, even before I, you know, the sip entered my mouth, I was hit with sharpness, uh, but a pleasant sharpness as well. That would be uh, the fox bulb that's uh, coming through on the initial taste there. Instant hit with uh, in hit with that. You've got um, a nice zestiness and t tanginess as well. You can actually feel it tingling your lips as it um, as it enters. Um, but then the sweetness kind of overtakes it and the Kingston Black and those sort of apple varieties take over from it and give a very very nice mellow taste Let's get a second opinion, just to see what the aftertaste is like. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, um, the aftertaste is very, very oaky. It doesn't say it's been matured in oak fats. But you are getting um, an oaky aftertaste, almost... Almost sort of like a, a slight hint of whiskey as well. Maybe um, like I had a couple of whiskey cask ciders and the aftertaste really does remind me of them. I don't think it has been um, matured in oak or whiskey vats, but if it has, that is definitely what I'm getting. Um, it's strange, it's kind of like um, in the... I don't know what you call it, like the through taste after you've like taken your initial sip. You get, um, as I say, you get this really nice mellow taste. I'm trying to think what fruit it reminds me of. I think it is kind of like, um, it is kind of like the, the orange pith again. You're getting a nice tangerine or clementine, something like that. But um, I'm definitely getting it in the through taste. But overall, you're getting so many flavours from this cider. I mean, um, it does say it uses a lot of um, apple varieties and with um, most ciders they don't incorporate all the flavours well enough. You know, they either um, mellow out some of them to make some, you know, come through on the taste more. But this one, you just get all different flavours throughout. It's a taste sensation. I'm going to get another one. Hmm. Mm, there's a nice, um, there's a nice smokiness as well as you take the sip, um, coupled with the sharpness, and you're just absolutely hit with tannins throughout the cider as well. In in fact, this kind of incorporates everything um, that's good about apples into one glass. The one thing that I will kind of put it down on is um, it doesn't. It isn't really a medium sweet. I would go for more of a like a medium dry sort of taste, because yeah, there is there not that nice bit of sweetness, but most of it is um, to do with the sharpness and the dryness of um, the Kingston Black apples coming through. But still, that's um, you know that's not putting this cider down at all because this tastes amazing. Seriously. Um, I was always a little bit sceptical with organic drinks, um, you know, organic products in general, thinking, oh, you know, they're usually more expensive, and um, they usually taste about the same. But this, I can see why they call it their premium cider, because it's bloody delicious. And not only that, but it's actually cheaper than the other ciders on Beers of Europe. Very strange. Anyway, 
let's go and get a final taste before the final verdict, shall we? Mm. Oh, belch. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, in a way it's got that sort of distinctive Herefordshire taste to it, because most Herefordshire ciders that I've had have been very tannic and very dry, but this adds its own touch of class to it. Um, giving a really nice smooth mellow flavour through in the um through taste, but it still finishes off very nicely and could actually be mistaken for a vintage cider. So, well, for a verdict, I am gonna go and give Dunkerton's premium organic cider a nine out of ten. Um if you you can find this in shops as well, like I saw it in um Morrison's I do believe quite a while ago, and it's also in a couple of um obviously organic sections in stores. So yeah, if you do see it in uh, any supermarkets, then seriously, give it a go, because you will not be disappointed. Another belch. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's kind of surprising, seeing as there's uh, no carbonation, but um, in one word, I'd, c I'd say this cider is a mixture, because, well, as I've said, it tastes like a vintage cider at the end, but it looks like a scrumpy. Very weird, but very very pleasantly surprising, definitely. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the other Duncan Insiders, that's for sure, so uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing them in the future. Well, that was another episode of The Cider Drinker. Hope you liked it, and well, as you know, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, I've got a right old corker of an organic cider to finish off here, so if you don't mind, I'm going to go and finish this, finish this premium organic cider off. Take care, guys. Until next time.